do you want to see the differences of Go Forth Goods versus Portland Leather Goods? Then you need to stay tuned and watch my pros and my cons and packaging and straps and all the details that are different about Portland Leather Goods versus Go Forth Goods. Hello, my name is Andrea and thanks for joining me today in the Babe Cave. And today, uh, before we get started, I wanted to show you a couple of things. And one is I got this cute bag chain charm from Timu. <laughs> and if you watch my Timu video, this was a brooch that now my husband made into a a charm so and this bag is also Timu so everything about this is Timu but I just wanted to show you this chain it has the pearls and then the five the bow the daisy I mean it's so cute and it dresses up this little leather bag so cute oh still smells really good I think I got this for under $30 or around the $30 mark there's a small cross by a chain but I just wanted to show you that from Timu. And also, bag of the day, Longchamp. Yes, in the color Antique Pink. I feel like this pink is perfect for now. It's more like a mauve pink with the navy blue horse. And it's the, the club tote, the small club tote in the antique pink with the navy button and the navy horse. So that's bag of the day. So everyone ha on YouTube has fallen down the Portland Leather Goods tunnel <laughs> or drain. I don't know. It, they have all fallen for Portland Leather Goods. But I also have a Go Forth Goods. which So I wanted to go over a few things that I've learned about Go Forth Goods first. And then we'll go on to Portland Leather Goods. So, Go Forth Goods was actually started in 2014, and they are made in the USA in Georgia. They are full grain leather that they used, and also there's a lifetime guarantee for their bags, or whatever you order. <clears throat> they have free shipping. Um, this is called the Mini Avery, and the color this color right here is cobalt blue which is kind of a more teal blue at least this batch and i love all the marks on here the the and it's does not have feet on the bottom you can choose different options on these these mini averys start out at 275 $275 and go up from there like if you wanted to add a zipper or a pocket or different color you know straps not this color you have all the options that you can choose but some of those will be extra <laughs> and just like Portland leather goods it's a unfinished leather that is on the inside and outside and that's the strap inside but so I just picked on this one the <clears throat> basic mini Avery I didn't do anything extra or change anything because I just wanted what it was and I just wanted the same brown and here it shows their go forth goods logo right there there's no logo anywhere else on that and I added my mermaid here it has one pocket on the side there it has a key keeper which uh, this was a free gift a little keychain it says go forth goods on it if I could get that in there uh, my hands covering it there's that 
And then you also get personalized cards from them. Uh, and this was crafted date, which was March 3rd of 2023 by Donna. And yeah, it gives you a little card like that. And also it gives you their go forth good business card, the keychain. The only part that I don't like is that the packaging, <laughs> I know that it, they offer the free shipping and to keep costs down, they don't put stuffing or even like a plastic bag around it. It's just literally in the box just to keep costs down for them. And they're running sales all the time, like 20%. There's also a new customer that you can sign up for and get, I can't remember, maybe 25%, but just check on their website for that. What I do like about them, also this strap. This strap is made so well and it has this comfort part where it hits you right here. And you don't even feel the bag on. It's so nice. This is really heavy duty. And so the cost of Go Forth goods is more than Portland leather goods. But uh, I'll get into that in a minute. But yeah, this, this cobalt blue right here is bison leather. Full grain leather. It's, it's really nice. Um, I wish they would kind of finish the top part, but... Really, it smells, it smells really good. Bison leather. These right here are copper color, and this is the, like, brushed right there. But super nice. The quality is really good. Has that extra comfort on the strap. With these are the, the lobster claws on the Go Forth Goods. I've carried this a few times. It... And I'm telling you, it is a very comfortable crossbody. Again, it's called the Mini Avery. Now let's move on to Portland Leather Goods, which I don't know the packaging of the Portland Leather Goods because this was a trade with Melissa. So I just know that this is the Lola crossbody. And neither one have feet on the bottom, but this one right here has a front pocket and a little about Portland Leather Goods that this, they source their hides from the US beef industry. And that means that whatever would be wasted is not wasted because it goes to these bags. <laughs> so that's really good. You can customize the bags. Like this one has the zipper. They usually comes with a, a snap closure, I believe, um, on this one. And these are full grain leather as well. And this one's a crossbody. I believe the Lola is, yeah, the Lola might be a, like big, wider. Yeah, it's wider than the Go Forth Goods. But they do not have free shipping, but that's because of their, they try to keep the costs down. And where these are made are actually in Mexico. So they have Portland, you know, Portland, Oregon is where their the outlet stores are. And then I guess they have a warehouse down in Texas as well. Um, this is the color fog, by the way. Has some major pebbling, you know. I think this was the, uh, they also have a category called Almost Perfect. Which, that just means there might be a little more characteristics of the leather, of just how the hide came out. So I do like that too, and that and the Almost Perfect is where you get a discounted price. And they're always running coupons for Portland Leather Goods as well. Um, and Portland Leather Goods was actually started in 2015. And, you know, I have only... I only have one from Go Forth Goods and one from Portland Leather Goods. And the Portland Leather Goods bags are cheaper than the Go Forth Goods. And honestly, I feel like the quality of the Go Forth Goods is better. More cost I mean these are 
these are handmade. Well, at least the Go Forth goods is handmade by a person. And once they get the order, they hand make these for per order. I feel like that there's more more care taken for the bag when they make them at Go Forth Goods. I feel like this one, the Portland leather goods, it's it's good quality, but you can tell the leather is not the same as the Go Forth Goods. I and then it doesn't have that comfortable, you know, little extra shoulder strap. And I'm not sure, you know, it's, of course, just the raw interior with one pocket. So, there's definitely a price difference, and I see why. Um, my review is, they're both good for what you want, depending on if you want to pay a higher price. Or do you want to pay more affordable uh, price? You'd go with Portland Leather Goods. But for me, I think that I... When Go Forth Goods have coupons, they're pretty good. They're 20, 25, 30% off. And they have their... Their leathers are just... This bison leather is amazing. So to me, I think I would rather pay a little bit more for Go Forth Goods than I would for the Portland Leather Goods. <laughs> but again, I only have these two to compare. And just from what I feel and what I see, they both can be customized, but I feel like the Go Forth Goods is more personalized. And per Portland Leather Goods is doing so well because everyone buys them. and. And they are nice, but I don't feel like the love goes into the Portland leather goods as much as the Go Forth goods. So those are some details I wanted to point out. And on this one, there's absolutely no branding on, uh, I guess the almost perfect bags do not have any kind of Portland leather goods on the bag. On this one, you know, it's just on... It's also on the strap right here. I'm going to show that. There's that. And then, of course, the handles. Um, but, yeah, I prefer if I'm going to get another bag from one company or the other, I probably will go with Go Forth Goods. I feel like... You're getting more for your money. I mean, even though Portland Leather Goods is more affordable, I feel like the quality and the personalized touches that Go Forth Goods does outweighs Portland Leather Goods. Don't hate me. <laughs> I I not bashing Portland, but they're they've grown so big that maybe it's not as good as quality as I would think that they should be. Sometimes that happens when companies get so big, the quality goes down. Um, so I still love both bags, don't get me wrong, but I feel like Go Forth Goods has extras that you, that make you feel good. I just, I just do and the quality. I mean, I just show you the strap again. <laughs> of how thick it is. I mean, this is some good quality leather made in the USA, if you're wanting that. So that is just my opinion. Don't come after me. <laughs> I like both of the bags, but for me, if I were to, to buy another one, it would be Go Forth Goods. And that's that. <laughs> So thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, comment down below. Do you have Go Forth Goods and Portland Leather Goods and which one do you like better? Um, the, you know, I want to know your thoughts of quality, you know, versus quantity. <laughs> so these are just my thoughts and a little bit about the companies and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and thank you again for subscribing down below and until next time I'll talk to you soon. Bye!